Tony, welcome to Guest to Buy. Um, you've been here for lots of years now supporting the show, which is great. Um, why do you keep supporting guests? Well, I think the answer is really easy. In the last hour, I have seen colleagues from uh, Russia, Kazakhstan, uh, from all parts of Europe. I've seen colleagues from Egypt. I've seen uh, colleagues from Asia and, of course, the Australians. Um, and these are people who are not only the decision makers, but they're the people who are innovative and creative in, in our profession. So th these are the people that um, are taking education technology to next steps. So it, you know, Guess Dubai is becoming um, a place where the really good innovators are coming to meet and discuss and talk. And what are you looking forward to most at this year's show? Oh, without, without a doubt, without a doubt. Well, actually, there's two. So there's the, the meeting of the people. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a gathering, So and we've talked about that. And secondly, um, this year, doing some work for World Didac, um, who are here and running um, an innovation stage and talking about vocational education training and how that works um, in a new paradigm, mm -hmm. which um, after the fourth industrial um, revolution and looking at how education and vet and technology all comes together. So there's some really exciting stuff happening. And the World Didact Conference, which is about changing the face of education, um, what can visitors expect from that? Um, I think that the people who are speaking are the leading edge thinkers and I also think that a number of them have some wonderful uh, products that are being used. Um, they won't talk about their products because they're not that type of person. What they'd be doing is they'll be talking about what they've learnt from their products being in classrooms and schools and in countries around the world. Um, and it should be, should be a very exciting time for us. That's good. And um, what do you think will be some of the key technology trends this year? Um, I think we're moving slowly towards the AI, the virtual reality, um, I think we're retracing our steps a little to look at how learning and teaching occurs with technology. I think that a number of countries around the world have maybe said, okay, um, we've worked uh, with technology plans for the last five, ten years. We've learnt a lot. Let's reevaluate. Let's see where we're going. Um, and maybe we're going to start to see um, some new thinking and some new ideas coming from the systems. Um, especially what happens here in Dubai is, is excellent. Uh, what is happening here in, in the Middle East is excellent. So there's much that we all can learn from each other and especially from our hosts. Great. And um, so day two of the show in the evening, we've got our Guess Awards, which has been running for quite a few years now. Um, you're our host for the evening and you also acted as one of our judges. Um, what were your feelings about the entries and what are you looking forward to on the night? Sure. Um, the judging this year was difficult. Um, and it was difficult because of the quality, not only the quality of the software and the hardware, but also the quality of um, how people are integrating that software and hardware into learning and teaching and what is happening in our classrooms. So um, not only because there was a, uh, a huge number of people nominating for the awards, but also that the quality of the awards was so high. Um, I think that what we're seeing is that people are appreciating the work that um, Guess does around the awards and as the awards grow in their uh, statue, uh, what we're now seeing is that people really want to win those awards. Um, so they're really trying hard, their products are good. Um, it'll be a wonderful night and looking forward to it. 